Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how I pack all of my toiletry, skincare, makeup for travel. I recently went on a week-long Caribbean vacation, and then as soon as we got back, we had to turn around and drive a few hours for one of my kids' sports tournaments. So we decided to stay at a hotel for the weekend. So I pretty much kept all of my skincare and makeup and toiletries intact and maybe pared it down a bit just for a weekend road trip getaway versus a week long tropical vacation. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I packed and the products that I recommend and also the accessories that I used because I picked up a few new items for these trips. So to start off, I did a last minute panic buy at Ulta Beauty the day before I left. And then I ended up picking up this brand new organizer, a little pouch. This is by the brand Tartan and Twine. And I think this is only $12. It's just a clear pouch. But what I really like about this versus all my other pouches is that it's very narrow. So it's easy to kind of slip in and out of a carry on bag and then also see everything that's inside. And they're not kind of stacked on top of each other. So I picked this up and this is also because this is the carry on bag. This is where I bring all of my heavier liquids that I didn't want to weigh down in my check luggage where I put all the rest of my skincare in order to kind of maximize the weight limit restrictions on my checked bags. So I'll show you what I packed in here and this is an up close look of the zippers and it's so pretty rose gold. And I'll start off with fragrance. And the first thing I packed is my fragrance of the vacation. This is Powdery Coconut by Dossier Fragrances. And this video is sponsored by Dossier Fragrances. I have been working with Dossier for a while and I love all the fragrances that they make. They create the almost perfect dupes of designer expensive fragrances. And I love expensive fragrances, but what I like to do is layer the expensive designer originals with the dossier kind of alternatives. So Powdery Coconut is an alternative dupe to Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and it tells you up here what the notes are. This is a very tropical, very summery fragrance, and I just really wanted to imprint the fragrance of Powdery Coconut and Tom Ford Soleil Blanc into my brain while I was on a tropical vacation. <laughs> so here is... Here is another, so here's the original Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is the Shimmering Body Oil. And so I like to layer these because this also gives you a little shimmer on your skin. So again, these are very heavy duty glass bottles that I like to bring in my actual carry-on so that it doesn't weigh down, you know, the luggage. All right, guys, I had to turn you around to get a better angle. I am going to try to run through all the things that I packed this trip because I just brought a ton of stuff. Again, I went to the Caribbean, so I had lots of sunscreen, lots of skincare and makeup that contain SPF to protect my skin. But anyway, this is the Tartan and Twine carry-on. This is where I carried all my liquids in my carry-on bag. So I'll just show you real quick. For my foundation, I have the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation because this has an SPF of 25. I actually own this in a, a lighter shade and so I picked up during the Sephora sale, the darker shade, I got this in. So this one I wear in a medium tan warm 250 and it's a uh, it's pretty good match for me. Next up is the Kopari Antioxidant Face Shield. This has an SPF of 30. This is just another great moisturizer. It's very lightweight and it has an SPF of 30. I like to layer my SPF with my skincare and my makeup if I can. Another sunscreen is the Peter Thomas Roth Max Clear Invisible Priming Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 45. And this is also great because it's clear and I like to layer this underneath makeup. Even though I brought a lot of makeup, I, I didn't really wear a lot <laughs> during my trip. But uh, this is a great lightweight sunscreen primer. Another new sunscreen is from Tatcha, the Silk Sunscreen. Hydrating Mineral Shield. This has an SPF of 50. It's very lightweight. I love the bottle. Isn't that so cool? A lot of these sunscreens I really just kind of wore on its own without any makeup, but all these sunscreens that I tried, I could still wear makeup over it and it didn't pill or, you know, or move around or anything. Again, the Dossier Powdery Coconut, which is the dupe for the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. This is the Shimmering Body Oil. Look what happens when you shake it. It just is so nice and shimmery. By the way, you guys don't really need to buy a shimmering body oil. You can truly use baby oil with, and just mix it up with any highlighter. So if I have any leftover highlighters, I might do that. But this is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc shimmering body oil and it's dossier dupe. 
another kind of a tinted sunscreen moisturizer. This is the Say Sun Visor, and this has an SPF of 25. So this is really for no makeup days. It's a tinted moisturizer pretty much with SPF. I have my Chanel La Creme hand cream, the really bougie egg hand cream. And then just to spritz throughout the day and also on the plane ride, because it's so dry in the cabin, I have the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It smells so good. It's like, I think it's grape water. It just smells so luxurious and it's very refreshing. Another one of my favorite travel cases is the Base On The Go Essentials case. This has two compartments. One is the Let's Go, and this is where you have like your self-care. I keep Q-tips, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, face wipes here. And then you have the We're Here compartment, and this is where I keep my makeup. So if, God forbid, if something happens and my check luggage is lost or disappears, I have really kind of like the essentials to kind of get me through maybe the whole trip. So let's start with the Let's Go side. So here I just have some Patchology face wipes. I have a face mask, hair tie. I have gum, deodorant. I have a Luna bar, Q-tips. Um, I have an eyeglass cleaning cloth. <laughs> Here's a toothpaste. I have the Skin Iceland Hydrocool Firming Eye Gels. More hair ties, this is from Way. Tums, I, <laughs> I always have to carry Tums. I have a hand cream, folding toothbrush. I have a Tide to Go pen, some feminine products down there. More Sephora face wipes, here's a little mini deodorant. And then I have this Luna bar that just lives down here just in case I'm hungry. And this all fits in here. And then on the other side, you have the We're Here compartment, and this is where I keep all my makeup. By the way, my favorite thing about this base case is it has its own mirror and it stands up so that you can do your makeup, you know, on the plane or wherever you are. And these are all the mostly makeup things that I carry on the plane. I have another mini glow screen tinted sunscreen by Supergoop. This is SPF 40. The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist when I just need a burst of hydration. I have, just in case I lose all my skincare, I have the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. And then for my overnight cream, I have the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. A fresh sugar, fresh sugar lip balm. This is the Innisfree Intensive Hydration Eye Roll-On. I love this because it's so cooling. You push this down and then you can see the cream. You can see the uh, eye cream. And then as you roll it along on your under eye, it feels so cooling because of this metal ball. I love this stuff. A travel size Tom Ford Soleil Blanc because this is my perfume of the vacation. Another sunscreen, this is by Baby Bum. It is a Mineral 50 sunscreen stick, so you can apply this all over. And these are great because it's a solid, so it doesn't count as a liquid. Another setting mist, but this has SPF. This is also by Supergoop, and it has SPF 50. This way you can kind of update your sunscreen throughout the day, especially if you're outside all day. A Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I have this in the shade 3WO, and this is actually my normal skin color but in the summer I can use this as a concealer, but just in case if I am missing all my makeup, I can use this just all over my face if I need to. Essence Make Me Brow, this is my favorite brow gel and it's like $2.99. Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, this mini size. Advil. MAC Liquid Eyeliner. And one more perfume just in case. This is the Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle because this is such a tropical resort vacation fragrance. So this all fits in here really nicely. It's all what fits in my base on the go essentials case. And now moving on to the skincare that I checked in my luggage. This again is the Pixie, I don't know, beauty case. I showed this in my other pack with me video, but this is available for sale and it just is such a great design. So this unzips on both sides. And when you open it up, it has this here. So this opens up this way. And then you have another little zip pocket here. And then you can hang this in your bathroom if you want. So in here, I just keep hair ties and, and hair clips and stuff. But I'll show you what I have in the rest of the bag. Starting up here, I have a deodorant by Briogeo. This is tea tree and eucalyptus. It's a clean deodorant. This is a mini hairspray by Sebastian. For my morning skincare, I have the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright Vitamin C Serum. And then I follow that up with the Dermalogica 
Biolumin C Gel Moisturizer. Another sunscreen, and this one is heavy duty. This is by La Roche-Posay, and this is 100 SPF for the body and face. And I like to be well protected with SPF, so <laughs> the, the higher the better for me. I have a little CVS targeted acne spot treatment. My eye makeup remover is in a Lancome by Facile double action eye makeup remover, but this honestly is probably Neutrogena in here <laughs> that I've refilled it with. I have two eye creams. The first is by Sunday Riley, and this is a retinol eye cream. And then I have the Sephora Brightening Eye Cream, and I really like this. This really doesn't irritate my eyes at all, and I can slather this on. So I use this one in the morning, and then this one I use at night. I have a mini MAC Fix Plus. This is to settle my makeup and to make it look more natural when I'm done. One more fragrance is the Rituals, the Ritual of Jing Eucalyptus uh, Sleep Pillow Mist, Sacred Wood and Lavender. This It's a pillow mist, but I honestly spray this all over the bedroom and it just puts me to sleep like immediately. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I have a travel of these. These are such a great, it's got a really nice exfoliating, brightening toner inside the cotton pads. I have the Sephora exfoliating face wipes. I really like these because it has these little exfoliating pads and it just really scrapes off all the makeup that I have on and SPF and stuff. I packed a couple face masks. I, I didn't use this one, but I did use another one of these, but this is the Tony Moly um, I'm whatever lavender mask sheet. So this one's lavender. I think I used the rose one. I really like these. They smell so good. And I use this when I took a bath on the vacation. And then these, I also packed a few of the Chanel Number no. 5 bath tablets. It's almost like a bath bomb. It smells so good. It just makes your, made the vacation so much more luxe when you take like a nice deep soaking tub bath <laughs> and then throw one of these guys in there. My bio oil, this is what I use for all my scars. I have a C-section scar that unfortunately is not going away. So I just rub this in every night, hoping that it will work one day. I have a mini Dior 999 nail polish. This is what I use on my toes. So I just bring this to touch up in case I get a uh, chip on my toenail polish. Uh, I have a razor in here. I have a wide tooth comb and then, and then some minis. I have the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum and then the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Lip Balm. And then for hair care, I have the Olaplex number no. nine Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. I really need this to repair my hair. On the vacation, again, we were in the water constantly and I had to wash my hair every single day and I didn't want it to get damaged. So I bought a lot of hair care and hair protectant type stuff. So I have the Olaplex number no. nine Bond Protector Serum, the Whey Hair Oil for frizzies, and then the Virtue Split End Serum. I'll try to show another picture of my bag completely packed, but before I went on the trip again, I had a last minute Ulta purchase and a last minute Sephora purchase. So from Sephora, I got this set. This is the Briogeo Strengthen and Repair, Don't Despair Repair Hair Care Mini Set. It came with a shampoo, conditioner, and a deep conditioning mask. And it was perfect because, oh, and a, and a little oil. And this was perfect because I used this during the trip because again, I was washing my hair every single night because we were in the water all day long. So it was great because I just packed it with me and then at the end of the trip, I could just toss it and I didn't have to worry about bringing it back with me. So these are great if you're traveling and you need to wash your hair multiple times throughout the trip. Usually if I need to just wash, if it's like a shorter trip, I'll just bring a lot of times the single use packets, but because I knew I would have to take care of my hair extra hard, <laughs> I brought this and then I was able to get rid of it at the end of the trip. And now my favorite part of packing, this is my makeup bag. So I don't know if I even showed this bag to you. I know that I had the toiletry bag 25, but I actually recently got this Truce Toilette 28. This is a vintage makeup cosmetic bag by LV. And I just love that it is I don't know, softer. It doesn't have any vachetta, so you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. I got this, I think, from Fashion File for, it was something like two something or maybe 300. No, I think it was definitely in the two something because I got it on sale. Anyway, this is a great option if you want the Truce 25, but it's like, you don't want to pay $800 for a, a, an LV makeup bag. If you can find this on the resale market, this is such a great design and I wish that they bring it back. So anyway, here is the bag. I'll unzip it for you here. This is what I packed. So I'll start off with kind of the palettes 
And again, I got this from Sephora during their sale right before I left. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam 2. And I like this because, look, those are the shades, but I'll show you what it looks like. Those are the shades, and I try to keep palettes inside their box just to protect it when I'm inevitably traveling with it. But this is just such a great combination of shimmery and mattes. You got the light brow bone, and then you have the dark colors for liner. This is a perfect palette for traveling and neutral eye looks. Another palette that I picked up recently, this is newer. This is the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, but the second version, I forget what it's called. The Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. And this is really cool because it has two cream shadows that you can use as a base. And then it has a mix of mattes and shimmery shades. These are for very kind of dramatic looks. But yeah, this is a great palette to get on sale. And then the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I got this during last year's Sephora sale, but this is great because it's got the cream, kind of a cream blush and then the highlighter. And it has this, and it has this to protect it. And then these kind of basic shades down here. And just because I want options, I also brought the NARS Afterglow Cheek Palette. And these are the shades. This has a mix of highlighters and bronzers and blushes. This was part of, I think, the summer collection. I also got this during the Sephora sale, but this is it here. These also make great eyeshadow colors. So, you know, it's kind of like an all over face palette, but this is really good. And I really wanted more like tropical kind of colors like this one. So the NARS Cheek Palette. And then from One Size Beauty, I have the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. And it is in that shade color combination name. But I really like this. It's so pretty. I really like this cream blush here. Also, it has a little plastic. It also has a plastic cover. And then it has a matte kind of a peachy coral blush. And then this very glowy shimmery blush that you can use as a blush topper. Very pretty. And this is the M Cosmetics Sunscape Highlighter in Clarity. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I don't know if you can tell, but this, I love highlighters. <laughs> if you watch any of my videos, you would know immediately how much I love highlighter. You can just use it like almost all over your face. So I use this on my cheekbones. I use it on my lids, on my brow bone. It's very, very pretty. This is just so stunning. It looks, it's pulling a little more white in the camera, but it's a very golden glowy color M Cosmetics. And then this I picked up from Ulta right before I left. This is in Urban Decay Moondust Shadow, a single. Look how pretty that is, that iridescent. I really like just, you know when there's an eyeshadow palette and you really just want the one color? <laughs> I stopped buying so many eyeshadow palettes because a lot of times I just want the one duo chromey color. So this, I have to swatch this for you, look how pretty. Is that, I mean, can you see? Very pretty. So this is in the shade Solstice, I think, yeah. And I like to keep this in here also because these tend to break if they are thrown around, but that is the Urban Decay Moondust Single Shadow in Solstice. I have a mini Dior Capture Youth Glow Booster Serum. I use this all over my face as a primer because I like a very, very glowy, dewy finish. And then speaking of a glowy finish, this is the Say Beauty Liquid Highlighter. This is called the Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. This is so pretty. I love cream highlighters, especially when you're in a tropical climate. It just, you have to glow, I think. So you can, I put this on my cheekbones. You can mix this in with your foundation and have an all over glowy look. Mini Laneige Lip Sleeping Balm. So that's the majority of what I had in my makeup bag. And then in this pocket here, I have the Kosas Concealer. And I actually need to pick up a darker shade of this. This is the shade 05W, and it's very, very light for me because I got very tan during my trip. I got a new Rare Beauty mascara. Their mascara is so good. I'm usually not a huge fan of every single celebrity launching a makeup brand, but this is so good. The wand is very thick, and it just gives such a voluminous lengthening look to your lashes. I featured this in my last empties video, so I picked up another one. This is the Say Brow Butter Brow Gel. This is so good because the last thing you want is a crunchy brow. This was a cult favorite for a long time and it has, 
had like a resurgence. So mine was expired, so I picked up a new one, but this is the Clinique, I think it's called Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. So it's really dark, but it gives such a natural finish. That's it right there. Very pretty. And then another lipstick I have is by Merit Beauty, and this is the shade Millennial. This is just a very nude, like a dark pink. So that is Millennial Nude Pink by Merit Beauty. Another lip gloss is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This smells so good. This liquid lip cream by M Cosmetics in another nude pink. Another cream blush by Glossier, their Cloud Paint in Storm. Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Chanel Waterproof Eyeliner in Prune, like a dark burgundy. And then this Charlotte Tilbury double-sided eyeliner. It has black on one side and then this like very shimmery nude that you can use to line your waterline and it makes your eyes look really big. And that is that. That is everything that I packed for my vacation. All of the bags, all of the travel cases. I absolutely love packing for vacation. Let me know where you guys are going. What are you packing? And also recommend some of your favorite makeup bags and cosmetics and toiletry bags because I love packing and I feel like there's always a better way to pack even though I love the ones that I use and I recommend them I'm always on the hunt for like the perfect one so I hope you enjoyed my pack with me video thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye